Hi, my name's Daddy. I play Clash of Clans sometimes. What I wanted to do here was talk about um, design principles for defence around Town Hall 6. And actually, you know what you can do? You can apply these to Town Halls lower than 6 as well. Because it's not until 7 when you get enough walls to be really creative with your designs. I see an awful lot of bases out there that are built by people that really don't understand the way that the dynamics of the game work. So I wanted to, to put this out there so that people can be guided a little bit. So really, firstly, you've got to think, what's the most important thing you're trying to protect? Are you trying to protect your cups or are you trying to protect your um, golden elixir? Because it's really no point in trying to protect both because it's just too much to defend. The biggest problem you have at a low level is that you don't have enough walls really to provide a lot of protection that you do with some of the bigger bases. So what we've done here is we've created a grid structure of walls so that if an attacker comes in from any side, they're going to be contained within, um, within a square or within a, a rectangle to give the defences an opportunity to defend properly. It's really broken things up. You see an awful lot of bases where there's just one big perimeter wall, which might be tough, but once you're in, you're in. So anyway, so this is why we've put lots of little squares. Now, if you consider, you know, in, in the case of, uh, this is Nate, my son, that he's trying to protect his resources. So guess where he's got his resources at the moment? The most important resource for him is gold. So he's got both of his gold containers there. And when this upgrade is complete on this mortar, that mortar is going to be there. So it's going to be nigh on impossible for anyone to get into the base, in, into the gold in the middle. What isn't important for, uh, for Nate is, is cut, our cups. So that's why he's put his, um, his town hall on the outside so that if anyone wants to come and take some cups in return for a 12 hour shield, it's much better that you're giving away a shield, right? That you're giving away a few cups than you are giving away 100,000 gold. So he's put, his, uh, he's put his town hall up there. Now, you don't have enough walls with Town Hall 6 to make a com completely enclose it. So, <laughs> what he's done very cleverly is he's put a whole bunch of spring traps, oops, a whole bunch of spring traps at this little gap here. So that the people that come in and attack the Town Hall, the, the troops will then come down, try and get inside the base, and they'll go flying. So, the most important defences that you've got um, at Town Hall. Um, Channel 6, and actually at pre channel before that, are the mortar, because they have a lot of splash damage. One mortar shot could take out 100 goblins, if it got to in the right place. You also have the wizard towers. The wizard towers also have splash damage. It's not so, not so big a splash, but they can also attack air, so they're really important as well. So what Nate's done is he's put them far away from each other, so that if, one person, atta if a person attacks one of them, they're not necessarily going to get another one. It's very important to remember you've got to divide the opponent's attacking forces. It's very easy to focus in on one area. It's not as easy if you haven't just split up. So anyway, so there we go. So he's got his uh, mines and the collectors around the side that aren't really that important. And he's got the vats and the storage right in the middle where it's well protected. Archer towers, cannons, you know, they need to be upgraded, but they only one shot. There's no splash element to them. And you don't all get attacked an awful lot at this level with air. So, you know, he hasn't really upgraded. I think he's got level 2 air there. But it's not actually a big priority. If you're upgrading, your biggest priority are going to be your splash damage weapons. He's got level 2 there. And a mortar is level 3 there. And he's got another one upgrading. And also your walls. Walls are really important because they slow down the enemy. When they're coming in, you want them bumping up against those crystal walls if you can. So that your defences can take effect. Well, he's got a full, um, he's got a full complement of troops there. So why don't we um, head off and see if we can uh, find a fight? Okay, so let's hit attack. Uh, no. All I want really is I want the resources. So I'm going to be looking for something. I don't know, maybe thirty, forty, fifty thousand gold. That's one thousand. No. Can you see what I mean about these bases with the big long perimeters? It's crazy. Once you're in, you're in. Uh, again, this guy's put his um, defense, he's put his resources all over the place. So the AI of the attackers is going to go all over the place as well. Um, yeah, these new players, maybe people come on, they play a little bit, they decide to leave. Uh, look, big long perimeter wall, and that one isn't even closed. Absolutely no defense whatsoever. 
but there's not enough gold, so we're not going to go for it. Okay, so this is a better, better haul, if you like. So we've got 55,000 gold, 31,000 elixir. So, the troop we've got, 20 barbarians and 115 goblins. Goblins are the ones that really get the stuff, right? So let's look, where's the mortar? The mortar's over there, so this area here is only protected by a cannon. So I'm going to try and uh, see if I can use the goblins to get in through the wall. Right. Remember, all I want here is the resources. I don't really care about the cups. Run, my little green friends, run. So we've already got, five, you know, pretty much 50,000 gold. We've got pretty much all the resources. Uh, so, there's only a little bit more elixir in that storage there. I don't know if you can see that on the screen there, but the elixir is full. And uh, if we were to attack that, you can see it's it actually visually gets uh, more empty. I don't really need to take these because there's nothing in the vats. I just wanted to show you how it works. Okay, so watch the vat. There we go. It's emptying out. And we've got pretty much everything. Now, as I said, I don't really care about the. Um, I don't actually care about the, um, the, the re, uh, you know, the cups here. But, but I'm on 35%. So the courteous thing to do really is to give the guy a shield because he gets that at 40. So just as a goodwill gesture, if you like, I'm just going to get up to 40%, and I'm going to end the game. The guy's giving me some money. Might as well, finish, might as well give him a shield. There we go. Opponent shield, 41%. Let's surrender. 55,000 gold, 30,000 elixir. So really, that's all you need. <laughs> I didn't even use the barbarians. At town hall 6 and below, don't mess around with balloons. Don't mess around with all the other stuff. It's not worth it. It takes up too much space. It's too expensive. All you need are some goblins, lots of them, and just a few barbarians that might help you if you need to take out the occasional defense. Anyway, I hope that's been fun. Um, I hope it's been clear. Uh, please do leave some comments if you have any, anything you'd like to ask or anything you'd like to comment. If you can make the video better, that would be fantastic. Um, the reason I do these is because I get good comments and people <laughs> seem to be enjoying them. So um, if there's any suggestions for future videos, please do leave them. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, please click like. Otherwise, have a nice day. Thank you.